right, so we've all been waiting, uh, at least if you've been following the case like I have. Uh, this was a little bit sooner than I expected, but uh, it looks like the jury is in, and we do have a verdict now. So officially the, the jury uh, has ruled that uh, Alex Murdaugh is guilty uh, for the double murder uh, of his wife and son. Uh, so again, uh, sorry if there are spoilers here. Uh, but this was one of the things that was addressed in that documentary that I had aforementioned in one of my previous posts. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that we kind of pulled this up and took a moment to talk about it, uh, all things considered. So, uh, we, you know, again, we do have that guilty verdict. Uh, it looks as though there was only a three hour deliberation period uh, for the jury. So they were able to come back with a ruling pretty quickly. Which, based on the evidence, you know, if you follow the trial at all or uh, anything from the documentary as mentioned, um, there is definitely <laughs> some heavy evidence, uh, circumstantial and otherwise. Uh, so I guess it really doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, sentencing hasn't happened yet. We do have the guilty verdict. Uh, however, we are still waiting on the sentencing portion, obviously. So uh, prosecutors have indicated that they will seek life in prison without the possibility of parole for those murders, uh, but they are not seeking the death penalty at this point in time. Uh, there is a separate case that has yet to go to trial. Uh, Murdahl will continue uh, to face 99 separate charges, and that stems from uh, financial crimes, defrauding clients, um, and so forth of about $9 million. So there's a, you know, a lot of moving pieces still and, and a lot is yet to be decided, but uh, it's certainly excellent news in my opinion that we actually do see a guilty verdict here. Uh, you know, you had Alec pled not guilty to the two murders and it seemed like there was quite an extravagant setup uh, to him trying to get all of this prepared before he was arrested. In any event, there's a lot more information out there to be pulled uh, and to be sorted through. So again, you know, I post this video and just say comment and let's talk about this stuff. Uh, this is certainly uh, breaking news, that's for sure. Um, and it's, again, to me, which, you know, you're welcome to offer your opinions on the subject, of course. Uh, I, I think this is well-deserved and... Um, Honestly, I couldn't be happier. Uh, it's something that should happen, and it's good that it has happened. Um, too often, people in these positions of money and power uh, get away with everything. And this is a situation in particular where they literally have been getting away with crimes in his family in South Carolina for who knows how long, for generations probably. I think that it's I ironic in a way that he is going to go down for these crimes, but that he was only brought to justice when he had no money left to buy his way out of the circumstances. Yeah, let's discuss. Let's talk about it. Comment, like, subscribe, share, get it out there. Um, let's open up a dialogue. Think freely, discuss openly.